Oh, what's going on guys? My name's Zach and today's video we're going to be showing you some stuff about what happened in Nullsack a month or two ago when I actually moved the whole corp down there. There was uh, myself, Chris, Alfie, Stephen and Paul all went down there and reload as well. He came for a little bit at the start. So basically what we did is we, we got set up, we bought some ships and the whole focus was just to go and go in and make as much money as we could in as little time possible, so hence the carrier and the Mac. So what you're seeing on the screen is instead of like showing you one thing, this is like two clients that I use, obviously Zach and my alt Molek. And uh, just for those that haven't got like alt accounts, it, it'll like show how good like having an alt like account really is, although obviously it's an extra expense whether it's in game or like if you pay for the sub or whatever, but in this one Zach's in the carrier and it's completely lol fit as you can see, it's got three sh capital shield remote reps on it and that was I'll, well, I'll get back to the fit in a minute on that, but it's literally all I wanted to do was keep it cap stable. And on Molek, I was using the Macarial just to get that extra DPS in the field. So basically, what what I used to do was just warp the carrier and the Thana, sorry, warp the carrier and the Mac into one of these sites. I think it was the, the Fallon Den or something, or the Hubs or something that we, that we had at the time. We didn't actually run enough to get the Sanctums and the the Havens, so it I mean we did make a lot of money, and it just shows that. I mean, we're hardly ever active as well. Like, probably a couple hours a day. That's all All were probably active, like, all together. So, the, the whole setup was get down to null, make as much money as you could. We had the Thanatos and we had three Macarials. So, obviously, Alfie and Chris had the Max and Paul had a Proteus. And I think Bob was using a... Oh, God, what's the Galante tier 3 called? Totally. The Talos. Talos, that's what it is. So, he was doing the belts and stuff and that, so... Like I said, like we had all the spawns down to a T. I mean, this is just me doing it as well, so I knew exactly what to target with the carrier, where to align to, obviously back to the post in case anyone jumped into local. So, I mean, the carrier was pretty poorly fit for like PvP, you could say, and it really is. I mean, there's no damage control on there. You can see it's just like one capital remote rep in the low, keeping it alive. So basically what it was designed for is the three max orbiting around or aligned next to it. And the max wouldn't be local repping, they would just be like constantly uh, getting reps off the carrier, off the three reps on the top. Also it's got a small bomb in there in case the frigates got in close if the max weren't able to lock it in time, depending on which way you warped in. So it was a bit weird, but the setup was absolutely brilliant and I did use this years ago, the, like a similar thing with the Archon and a hobby down in Quirius and made so much money guys, so much money. It really is, like when three of us was on, like, obviously, I was in the th uh, the carrier and the Mac, Alfie was in a Mac, Chris was in a Mac. We could literally run, like, this site in about four, maybe four and a half minutes, I think, we got it down to. Like, doing it, like, proper. Like, th like the best we ever had was, like, say, five minutes. So, in that five minutes, we've made 30 mil. And the corp tax for the whole time when null sec was 100% as well. So, obviously, I was being a bit greedy there. But what we did, at the end, I split it all up and... Uh, Obviously how much I thought people had earned really, so obviously like people couldn't be on as much as other people, so why, sh why should they get a like an equal share of other stuff when people have been working harder, but everyone agreed that was the easiest way to go and um, all the salvage and loot got jumped out at the end, well most of it anyway, because we had to jump out of there in a hurry. But that's a story for another time. So yeah, it's um, obviously I've got the windows staggered. There. I mean, I did, I've, I've got like the two screens set up, but it was just to show you like how I swapped between them and what I was like sort of targeting and stuff. So I know Alfie was quite interested in, in seeing that. And like, especially when the three Max was on on the field, like some of the DPS got pretty high. So I had a like, it, it was quite a complex thing trying to shoot like uh, battleships with the fighters and make sure you're not putting your fighters on your teammates <coughs> while also like using the Max to. To like shoot stuff so it was pretty intense i would say is the word but also it kept it fun for me because it was just like click fest everywhere and keep everyone alive and then um once everything was done like we didn't waste any time like whatsoever we'd do like between five and ten of these sites and then we like when we're waiting for it to respawn back at the post like there was two max ratting the belts at the same time so the whole idea was obviously money, just keep it rolling in, do whatever you could to make money. We've done the relic sites, the data sites, but I'll be honest, they didn't really like get much money compared to doing the ratting and stuff. I mean, even the ratting in the belts, when you're getting loads of faction spawns and that and some decent mods out of that, so 
that all got jumped back up to high and it was happy days I can all I can tell you it was happy days at the end obviously the lads most of them became billionaires again <laughs> like I know the last time we did the wormhole stuff I think it was the first time a couple of the lads had been made billionaires so that was pretty awesome and it was really good for me to, to like be able to show them like this is how you do it properly and it's pretty cool but I don't recommend using this setup really with a carrier the way it is because unless you're really really keeping an eye on local I mean there was times where people jumped in and that was just completely oblivious like doing trying to keep Max alive and stuff like that but for the most part we got pretty much left alone we were living in a pipe system and the intel was really hot on it and that made a massive difference I mean for the first two weeks we never seen anyone like I think we've seen one rift on YouTube came like through a random wormhole two jumps away and he like got killed pretty quick off uh, the flycatcher that was all good got some PvP down here as well um, but yeah for the most part it was quiet just left to do what we needed to do which was just make a shit ton of isk which is exactly what we did um, so anyway once we finished like between five and ten of these sites we had them all to salvage obviously we'd, we'd bookmark them all the wrecks and stuff and each of what had noctuses so we'd all like just sort of stagger ourselves up through the the sites to salvage and you probably got like 20 to 30 mil on the salvage per site as well so the sites were kicking around about 50 to 60 mil and you, like you were blasting through them so you can imagine like if you were sort of like fully active all the time get the best sites and everything just that money would have just been crazy we could have walked out of there with like easy 30 40 bill in the few weeks we were there instead of like 11 or 12 that were made so like taking into account activity we hardly did anything and we got quite a lot back for it and the salvage started getting so insane that we actually had one noctus full of tractor beams and another noctus full of salvagers would warp them into the sites together and obviously just salvage 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 one and just pull all the stuff like literally track the beam all the things <laughs> it was totally mental and uh i did actually have some footage of that but i've got no idea where it's gone i must have deleted it when i was searching through me battlefield 3 stuff and more so for me it was the the fact of the experience for the lads as well i mean alfie'd never like lived in low sec uh, sorry null sec so it was there was all like a whole new game for him and like he really enjoyed it and obviously he could fly a mac as well which like ask him what his favorite chip is now it's the mac for, for anything he's up in high sec doing missions with it now and it's absolutely crazy i mean we've, we've got the three max like blasting through the missions for the lps and stuff so i'll probably cover that in the next video about like other ways you can make money like really really quickly even on just level four missions which you might not really take into account when you're actually doing them so like even before the rats were dead i was pre-aligned out with the uh, Thanatos and the, the Mac there and ready to warp out so again not wasting any time and it just became routine like like day in day out like for a couple hours a day and that's that's all it really took I mean I mean I think we walked out like with 11 bill maybe like off the whole thing and it it probably cost like we didn't lose too much stuff down there so I mean this I mean we left a lot of salvaging gear down there as well but it was like probably like 10 bill like liquid isk plus like all the rest of it so really did like make a massive like impression on the lads wallets you could say so that was happy days there um if you need like any more information about the fits or whatever like sort of tactics i use there just give us a shout in game or drop us a mail or something i'll leave a comment and i'll try and get back to you as quick as i can but that's it for now guys and i'll catch you in the next one